Russell Atapi was recently appointed as uh, the head coach of Barbados, the men's football team. Uh, right. it's, it's very interesting, you know, the little magician himself. We know him as a player. Uh, what are your thoughts on that particular appointment? Uh, when, when I heard the news, I, I immediately sent Russell a, a message wishing him good luck. And now, let, let me just say right here, I am very biased towards Russell Atapi for any number of reasons. One being that I've, I've known and played with Russell since I was 10 years old, and that's quite some time now. I also think that Russell was not just one of our, our greatest talents that we've ever produced. I, I genuinely believe he's one of our greatest footballing intellects that Toronto Tobago has ever produced. Um, and, and that is, is, is an attribute I think that will serve him well as a manager. I, I also understand that his, his record with, with the Toronto Tobago senior and junior, junior teams is checkered. And that, that's probably about as best as I can put it. But I, I firmly believe in, in Russell, in his talents, um, in, in his qualities, in his intellect, in, in his ability to, to, to get a message across. Um, and, and I think Russell recognizes, as, as much as anyone right now, that, you know, if, that this, he, he's got to get this one right. He's got all the tools. Uh, I think he's now got enough experience to, to, that, that it translates well to, to a senior team manager. Maybe just a, a, as a person or as a personality, he was carrying a little bit too much baggage for, to, for, for Toronto Tobago. But with, with a, a fresh opportunity and a clean slate in Barbados, I, I am certain that, that Russell Latapi is, is going to excel. And I'm excited and, and delighted for it. Yep, you know, it's, a, it's an exciting uh, appointment for Barbados because I recently, um, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I know they've been doing a lot of development. I think they did some work with the Argentine Football Association. Um, I don't know the exact details, but it shows that the Football Association is making some serious strides in terms of their development. Mm -hmm. And having someone like Russell, and I, I could actually, uh, um, you know, personally testify to some of the things that you're saying, because I knew him as a fan, as a little guy growing up looking at the magician, right. destroying people in Scotland and in Portugal. And then I met him in the early stages as a coach, as in the, in the context of a journalist. And then also playing with him in a recreational, you know, tournament uh, just for a couple of months. And you know, you, you see right. the characteristics. Uh, you know, he he was very calm in his demeanor, and he was very he was able to command certain tactical aspects. And you could see, you know, just by observation, that okay, this is a highly a person with a high football IQ, and with the right ingredients, he definitely can. If he can translate what he knows on the pitch, it's it's scary what he's capable of. Absolutely, I, I, I fully agree. I, again, he's a he's a unique talent in what he brings both on and off the field. Yep, it's, it's, it's an it's exciting appointment. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more, look at this video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button because when you do, one of your enemies will be destroyed. Just a reminder, everyone, for more episodes with Shaka Hislop, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, interviews, and content.